Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Jay-Z here with another video on Action Timing. Today we're gonna check our first Let's Play after renewal, and obviously this is gonna be for current eye. But before we start, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. So before we even start uh, doing all the builds and stuff, we gotta see what changes the renewal brought. So, uh, in the case of Kurenai, she did change somewhat, but not that much. Uh, let, let's see those changes. So, it says uh, balance adjustments. Perform the performance of Shingeki Kure Shinganji, Shinganji Kurenai has been adjusted as follows. The visual effects and animations of some skills have been changed. A new unique effect and debuff has been added. Unique effect: when using a skill attack, inflict the wind scar on inflict wind scar on the enemy, which is going to cause, count as a debuff. Unique debuff: wind scar takes a significant amount of damage when three stacks uh, when stacked three times and reduce HP restoration effect by 50% for 5 seconds. So, this is gonna be extremely, uh, not extremely useful, but it's gonna be definitely useful for BR. Uh, the, uh, not BR, for PvP, uh, for Arena. I am not sure how useful it is, but let's consider that the, the tornadoes are going to interrupt the actions of the enemies, uh, and that's going to be super useful, particularly because uh, characters on BR, with some exceptions, don't have super armor. So you are going to interrupt them a lot just by performing skills. Then, it says, The attack range of skill Shinganji dual wheel style has been increased which that's going to be the basic enhancer and I mean okay so one of Kurenai's weaknesses was the fact that she is not good at dealing with waves of enemies she was more of a single target um, character but now what you're going to see on the renewal is that she's going to perform better against multiple enemies thanks to the extended range not only to this skill but to many others so let's see and the attack range of skill Tornado Render has been increased. As I mentioned, they are increasing the skill, the attack range, the AOE of these skills. So, uh, let's see. Tornado Render. It only says this. It doesn't say that the effect changed. Um, so, yeah, it, it's fine. The AOE is way, way bigger. And I like it. Uh, hurls a wind that deals multiple hits to the enemies on its path. The problem is that this skill... Let me check. Yeah. This skill in most build you won't use. Basically the only exception might be PvP builds and builds that abuse the Rock Band weapon. Uh, what's the name of that weapon? Let's see. Uh, it's... Pure Heart. If you have Pure Heart, maybe you do want to use this uh, skill, but for the most part, uh, you're going to avoid it because we have better options, and you're going to see. That's an issue that they didn't fix for, for Kurnai, and it's that she shares too many commands. Well, we're going to see that in a moment, but let's continue. When using the skill Deflective Win, the player can now dodge when pressing the attack button during the counter stand. Um, hum. so I, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I, I know that basically if we uh, actually press attack, we can, um, we can activate the, the dodge. Let me, let me show you. So normally this was a counter. So I just took this and I would need to receive a hit in order to, to do the counter. But now I can do it and attack whenever I want. I just have to uh, press, as you see, attack. So unfortunately, there's one bad thing about this, and it's that it's kind of slow. I want to say it's the slowest thing in the world, but it is kind of slow. So that's not very good. Can we compensate for this? Sure. Actually, Kurenai has a good amount of speed increase. 
And if you have the newest weapon, you're going to be able to use the, the speed increase effect that it comes with the weapon. So, uh, let's see. What else? Uh, Tornado Render, Reflective Wind. The attack range of the skill Storm Zone has been increased and delayed after using the skill has been decreased. Okay, that's super good. So, the cooldown has, has been reduced. Uh, well, I... I I assume it means the cooldown when it says delay, but it could mean something else. Um, and bigger AOE for a storm zone. Uh, let's see, a storm zone. If I'm mistaken, that's going to be storm zone. Oh, this one, this one. They, they change it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it used to deal three tornadoes. I, I really don't remember if it was this one or Tornado Render. You can check my, my previous Let's Play on her to see what's the real change. Uh, but now, as you can see by the animation, you're going to go in front, you're going to do the Tornado, and then you're going to go backwards into your original position. Uh, wait a moment. The final attack rolls a whirlwind in a small area um can i can i can i okay i'll do it i'll do it i think that for i have what i have seen this actually does apply the the tornadoes uh that we were missing because before you could see them in the in the animation i'm just gonna put whatever blue uh, just to activate the the skills so uh, increase area of effect, the final attack that curls a whirlwind in a small area, increase damage. So, if I'm not mistaken, that second slot effect is the thing that is going to give me more tornadoes. Yeah, 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 it's the uh, extra tornadoes. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, before one of these attacks, either uh, tornado render or storm zone, did something awkward by uh, releasing three tornadoes. In, I wouldn't say a cone exactly, but something like that. It, it was cone-ish, uh, and then uh, after a buff, it get it got tracking capabilities, and it feels like this. It is okay. It is not a cone, and honestly, this doesn't feel great. Just because of one thing, you saw that it the animation takes a lot of time to actually reach the enemy and. It reaches the enemy almost at the very end. The, the second, um, the second uh, wave of tornadoes takes too much time to reach the, the enemy. It should be faster, in my opinion. Yeah, it definitely should be faster. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but uh, overall it's not that bad. The, the change in the maneuver that uh, Kurenai's dose is definitely an improvement over doing that awkward... Uh, I think it was a backflip, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. It is nice, it is nice. Let's see. Then, a slot effect of the skill Howling Wing has been partially changed. Uh, assist 3. Increases critical damage by 250 and now also gains super armor while attacking. So... Um, I don't know how necessary this was. I mean, they had been adding this effect on some skills. And, I mean, this skill could be interrupted, yes, but with very specific attacks. And considering that the bosses on PR use those kind of strong attacks and they have super armor, I think it's fine. But this is a skill that gives you critical damage increase, so... Would you use this on VR? I think not. Anyways, and also uh, enemies on tower would do that, so it's acceptable. It's acceptable for the most part. Let's see. Then, and the attack range of the skill Gale Slash has been increased. Well, that's great. I hated this skill uh, because number one, I'm not that good at doing uh, the immediately after attack evade combos. That, well, that's a me thing. And uh, number two is that this thing used to have 
this cross attack. It still has the cross attack, but it always feels like the enemy directly below you would always avoid this attack. And it's like, mm, I'm supposed to hit that thing. And now it doesn't feel that way. That, that's a good thing. So let's see. Uh, then the attack range of the skill spiral render has been increased and the delay before using the skill has been decreased. A spiral, a spiral. Oh yeah, this one. Probably one of the most useful uh, launching skills. Gremory has been working a lot to enhance Kurenai's blue builds and all the tornado mechanics. Honestly, they, they have improved Storm Zone, Tornado Render, Spiral Render, Storm Fang. Uh, do you remember the, the Rock Band uh, package, the, the seasonal uh, supporter and weapon? Well, they, they are trying to make this blue build work. It's like they want that specific build to be the one you use on PR. And actually, it probably is the best option right now because the other ones rely on crit, you know? Though, 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 Supportive Kurenai or Offensive Kurenai on red and uh, green is not that bad on BR, just that the the main skills you won't use, the, the pure color skills, you have to use something else. So anyways, let's continue. Um, the effect and slot effect of the skill the Storm Facts has been partially changed. So the basic effect. Throw a dagger that forms a tornado that continually attacks the target. Throws a dagger, creating a tornado on the enemy hit, dealing sustained attacks. It is basically the same, but then that sucks them in. So this used to be an effect that was on, uh, if I'm not mistaken, blue, but we're going to see that in a moment. Uh, blue would pull the enemies, and now it's an innate ability of the skill itself, which is pretty good. I have tested this and it was a great thing on blue, but now they give us an added benefit and it works the, the pulling effect on every color. That's amazing. So let's see. Protect two, tornado pulls the enemies, changing to decrease the enemy's defense by 20% for 10 seconds. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. Then. <laughs> For suppresses, gave, it gave particle charge, which was awful, but now increases speed by 20% for 10 seconds. Yes, 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 yes. So, current eye on red now can become a very fast attacker, which is amazing. I have tested this and I was impressed. So, uh, overall, her gameplay did change her diamond ca capabilities were increased and um, the animations, most of the attacks are still the same as they were. Like there were, this one changed a little bit, not like super drastically, but it did change. Um, the animation for other attacks like Gale Slash change, of course, uh, the same can be said about Tornado Rended, but the essence of the attacks is the same just that they are a little bit more effective because their range was increased and uh, part of the problem was their range definitely because they wouldn't hit enough enemies in the case of Tornado Render or the enemy below you in the case of Gale Slash so it is pretty effective so let's see uh, I'm not gonna read the whole skill set in this case but you can check the original video and you can compare the uh, skills right now. As I mentioned, there weren't that many changes. I mean, the critical, no, the super armor here, the range increase on most of the skills. I think that they changed God's Eye. I don't remember. I mean, does it say God's Eye change? It doesn't say that it changed. But for some reason, I think that it changed. God. No, I. No, no. No, it doesn't say that it changed. So, yeah, well, I'll assume that it's the same. Anyways, 
Uh, let's start checking Kurenai. And we're gonna start on Tower. Tower is gonna be <laughs> very fun with Red. So, for this, I'm just going to put number one. Uh, where is Eleonor? Prophet Eleonor. <laughs> Why Prophet Eleonor? So, we have the option of putting uh, Anna Rose. Anna Rose would increase my HP, which is nice. It would give me healing capabilities, which I don't need on red. Uh, but Eleonor is going to increase my my attack by a little, but it's going to increase it nonetheless. Uh, both Eleanor and Anna Rose are going to increase the critical rate, which we want. We want as much crit as possible. Let, let's see. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so we're going to use that. We're going to use um, Shirayuki because she, um, Kurenai is a demon. And now... Let's check, where is it? Oh yeah, Barretta. there we go. So what skills are we using? We're using Kamitachi. Kamitachi is super easy to use along with Gale Slash, which is great. And not only that, it has a great debuff in the form of 30% uh, speed reduction on 10 seconds. My God, that's extremely aggressive. This skill I didn't like, it was simplistic, yet, Blue and red are amazing. Uh, green is kind of whatever-ish. It, it increases damage, but the cooldown reduction is more effective now that uh, she has the, the leader skill. So, we're going to use this one, Gale Slash, to deal damage and um, recover HP. And at the end, we're going to use Stormfang. Stormfang is going to increase our speed. So if you have the four slot, there's options. You can go with the basic enhancer. You can go with God's Eye, which will further increase the speed. Uh, but you cannot use Tornado Render. So uh, before we actually start testing, let's mention this. So Tornado Render and Stormfang have the same command, which is a bad thing. Then Storm Zone and uh, Deflective Wind also have the same command, which is a bad thing. Why? Because you cannot combine them. So that is bad. But what's the compensation here? That uh, they actually should have changed this um, because there is not much point in, in using deflective wind on blue now. Uh, what's the problem with deflective wind on blue? That it gives damage, uh, defense reduction on 10 seconds, and it is exactly the same as this. As a Stormfang, and you're gonna prefer Storm Stormfang over Deflective Wind. They should have changed it so that we have an incentive to actually use this on blue. Then, um, instead of using uh, Deflective Wind over Storm Zone, you're gonna be using Storm Zone next to Stormfang on blue. So that's a thing. Anyways, let's start checking this. Uh, since we're going red, let's go Christmas. And supporters, the skills, stats of the customs, stat from the stat training, and most importantly, the weapon. We're gonna use a whatever weapon 5 out of 5 plus, 5 plus 13 with whatever Maga Tamas on this sub slot. What's up with you two? Get out of here. Now, my god, I don't have the, the other one. Well, whatever, I'll, I'll keep this. Okay, anyways. Um, here I have critical damage increase, as you can see. With Dying Sleeve. Dying Sleeve is... <laughs> Kronai has just too many good weapons, honestly. Like, uh, Dying Sleeve is good. Grindhouse is good. Twin Sword is good. Pure Heart is usable, very usable on specific scenarios. Uh, Cornet of Supremacy is good. Um, this one is good if you want to use Ulti Spam. Um, since she's a crit character, the Mochi weapon is good. So, uh, the again, the Summer weapon, like the Snake weapon, is also good for uh, Ulti Spam. So, that's a thing. So, yeah, this is not too bad. You, you should definitely try it. So, um, what is the benefit of using Dainsleeve. Dainsleeve says 
on the place where gale glass passes through, the why the wind rages and deals 100% of damage and reduces the enemy's movement speed by 10% for 10 seconds. A free debuff is not that much, but slow helps out a little. And then it has an active that deals damage around you uh, for 10 seconds. That's also important. It is pretty good for a for an active skill. And it uh, helps with one of Kurenai's previous problems that was uh, her ability to to deal with waves of enemies. So you're going to see that this is just lovely. We get speed reduction, damage increase, uh, no, sp speed reduction, speed increase, and huge damage. So we do this and then we do it again. Okay, so like this and this. And we recover a ton of HP. Yeah, and doing like triple dash, triple dash is just the easiest thing to do when uh, doing this kind of consecutive attacks. I love it. Nice. Oh, yeah, I, I should mention, I think I was mistaken. I, I misread something on the, um, uh, what was it? The update, the update uh, video about the nerf. It wasn't a nerf. It was actually a buff to uh, counterattacks. They increase the, the time that you have to activate that skill, uh, those skills, which is pretty good. Uh, let's see, like this. Nice. And also this one and this one. And as you can see, poor Edwin is not able to do anything. There. I'm not even going to use the ultimate. This is just that strong. You're always going to have HP recovery with this build. And thanks to the increase um, AOE... Now it doesn't feel awkward to use. Before it did. It felt totally awkward uh, at some point because you some enemies would avoid the the attack, the gale slash, and it was just very annoying. There we go. Over here. And done. Pretty easy. Yeah, this is definitely great. Now, let's do a green one. We're going to do it here because we can actually use uh, green bills over here. So for this, um, I'll go with a classic critical build. Mm, thinking, just, just thinking. Do I want to keep this weapon? Do I, do I have a something better? Ugh, if I had the fourth copy, maybe I would do it. But right now, no. I'll, I'll do the video whenever we receive Grindhouse. We should receive Grand, Grindhouse tomorrow. Uh, technically, I think it's going to come on the, on the um, weekend missions. So keep an eye for that, guys. Don't miss it. Uh... But no, I'll keep Dainsleaf, but Dainsleaf is not going to enhance the gameplay. I'm going to use the active. So, yeah. Anyways, let's see. So, Kawaru, yes. Suruga, yes. And who else who increases critical damage? Mm -hmm. I could use this one, actually. It is pretty gener generic, pretty good. It is not f to be friendly-ish. Um, but you, you can just substitute it for whatever you have. Uh, let's see. So let's go with Bright. And let's see. Deflective Wind is one of the best uh, skills that you can use, uh, except on BR. Uh, I mean, technically now you can. Because you can activate it whenever you want. But the speed issue is still a thing. So I still don't recommend this on BR. For everything else, this is actually pretty good. Um, because 
enemies don't deal that much damage on tower compared to VR. Let's see. So, uh, Deflective Wind to get HP recovery, Howling Wind to deal damage, and I can use whatever I want on the last slot, like um, the Basic Enhancer, I can go for God's Eye, I can use Kamitachi, I, I wouldn't recommend Kamitachi. You can use Tornado Render, but honestly, the best option is definitely Stormfang. Stormfang is just so strong, it is just God. It was strong before, but now it is disgustingly strong. Because it provides either speed increase, no, a speed reduction, defense reduction, or a speed increase for yourself. So, it is nice, I'm gonna use this. Supporters, uh, the custom is, is always going to be the same, the weapons the same, everything is the same, but skills and, and supporters. So, let's check it. Again, this is going to be very simple. The difference here is that uh, green is going to be more focused on single target. I mean, you can do it uh, for a, a specific build for multiple enemies with Kami, Kamitachi, I think it was the name. Uh, but, and Tornado, uh, Stormfang, Stormfang, um, but yeah, it is fine. So, we start by using the Tornado, and then we dash attack, uh, dash attack, just to shred the enemies. And take this, and we use the Tornado again, and... Hey, over here. There, nice. Here, and... Now that I have super armor, that attack is not going to interrupt me. So, uh, there's value in, in actually using those. Uh, well, in having the, the buff, I mean. Let's see... And dash attack, come on, dash attack, there, destroyed. And I use the HP recovery skill, and I use the tornado. And I use the dash attack, and everyone is destroyed, but Ingrid, let's see. There, nice. And done. As you can see, this is good. Definitely, when you can crit. Since VR doesn't allow us to crit, uh, green is just not as viable as a way to be the main damage dealer. But as a way to be a, a debuffer is not that bad. Uh, because you can use this... Uh, which is it? You can use Stormfang. Let's see. What else? You can use Deflective Wind and build yourself as a tank. And... Mm, mm, mm. Let me check. Two main. You can remove the uh, this one and go with tornado render and spiral render and go with a mixed build that uses two green and one red using white feather Aska to be the super armor break and a slow supporter. For example, that's a thing that you can do. Let's see. Anyways, let's finish with a build for blue. Let's see, for blue. Okay, I'll use this one instead. Oh, I, I need to remove those Magatemes. And I reloaded the, the low Magatemes. That doesn't matter. As you see, I'm creating a lot, so it's fine. I'm gonna use this. Oh, for this one, I, I actually do care because I have lower... Stats because it's an S S four. So I do this this critical damage critical damage critical damage. So obviously if we use pure heart we're going to use tornado render. When using tornado render increases speed of allies by thirty percent for five seconds and increase damage of tornado render by up to. 60% it can be up to 40 and 60 um, do not use this just yet we're gonna receive we're probably going to be offered a 
seasonal tickets on the Black Friday deal. I think. Like, I think last time that's what happened. So, we're going to be doing blue. So, Tornado Render. That means that we're going to avoid this one. Because of that, we actually want to use Deflective Wind. Uh, but it is a very specific scenario. And Storm. Ooh, I cannot use Storm. That's the issue. Instead, we're going to use this one. So, yeah. This build... It's going to be a little bit more effective on VR because you're supporting your whole team by... Uh, well, first I'm going to change the color so that we can actually check the correct uh, effect. So, uh, she's Protect and Demon. Let's see, do I have something else that I want to use uh, over here? Maybe Lilim, God Lilim. No, just Lilim. Something like this. Perfect. So, what about the, the effects? Here we're going to have a Kamitachi, Kamitachi. And Kamitachi is going to just be a tool to stack those um, debuffs from the leader skill. So that we deal more damage. And with the cooldown reduction, that's great. Then we have um, Deflective Win. If you use this on BR, you're going to be able to debuff the enemy. That's nice. And where is it? Ah. Storm Render is going to deal damage and also increase the speed of your allies. So there's value in that. If you want to use Coronai as a supporter, you can put um, a supporter that gives a party-wide effect on the main for Coronai. Uh, for example, you can use Worshipper Lapis for your demon teams or normal Lapis. You can also use, let's see... Um, I mean, you could use this because the allies are going to receive the penetration, but you won't get any other benefit. So it's not a great idea. Um, you could use this one to disarm the enemies every now and then. <clears throat> Anyways, let's test it. As I mentioned, this is better for BR. Um... Uh, but I wouldn't say that it's your best option. Nowadays, thanks to the, the buff, I think that uh, using Kurenai as a, as a main damage dealer on BR, that, that's your, the way to go. So, so what is the combo? Yeah, now I remember. So you start with the counter, then you use the tornado render, and then you use Kamitachi. If I'm able to use Kamitachi, that is. Nice. Uh, and for those who want to know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, that the damage that the tornadoes do, the, the tornadoes from the new leader skill, are something like the damage from one of the hits of... Uh, uh, the big tornado, uh, the, the awakening skill, uh, what's a render storm? I I'm gonna see the name in a moment, but something like that. I'm gonna use the active. Kamitachi. Hey, don't, don't move. Kamitachi. Like that, perfect. Okay. So yeah, the damage increase compensates for the lack of um, a pure damage, a pure color skill. The damage increase of the weapon. I just do this and oh, okay. For this one, I am actually going to use uh, the ultimate because these skills don't have the best AOE. Though it is increased the the tornado tornado render, yeah, tornado render, it's still not compared to to the awakening skill. Oh really? Active and tornado. 
done. So as you can see, it isn't that bad, but this build in particular is definitely not her best build. Uh, supported blue, it's there, but it's still kind of awkward. Uh, besides, you you need um, to have all the copies of Pure Heart, and newer players are not going to have this weapon. Seasonal equipment is just... Uh, that's a topic for another video. <laughs> Let's see. Anyways, uh, the next one. We're going to test her on BR. Do I? Yeah, actually, this is so strong that I was able to, to reach uh, beyond, beyond 100 easily. I mean, it is disgusting. Let's see. I have this one, but let's start with this. So, I just need to do some minor adjustments. Give me one moment. Uh-huh. And I put Kurenai, Kurenai, Kurenai. Where are you, Kurenai? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's up with my eyes that I don't see? Oh, that's why. Because it's at the very beginning. <laughs> I was checking the, the middle. So, um, what are we going to do? We're going to be using, first of all, the newest weapon. And then we're going to use my strongest weapon. Uh, so. PvP, 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 PvP. Yes, because I know that the PP ones are the anti-human ones. And whatever red. One, two, three, and four. There we go. So, this one is going to be two out of five. And it provides a speed at a 20% chance when doing normal attacks for 8 seconds. The speed is going to depend on the enchantment level for me. Uh, on the S level, it's going to be 7.5 here. And it also inflicts Wind Scar on the enemy. So you're going to accelerate your DPS by using this weapon. Because you naturally have the Wind Scar, but on top of your natural Wind Scar, you get another stack with this weapon. It's not guaranteed, but it is a good effect to have. Then, the tornado attack generated with Windscar is applied with 100% penetration. That's pretty good for BR. I cannot deny it. It's just good. And the damage dealt is increased by 150%. So it's going to increase by a lot. And it's definitely worth using. Do you need this weapon? Uh, actually, no, as I mentioned, she has a ton of great weapons and you can go with whichever you want. This is definitely the strongest for BR. I mean, penetration. It is very strong for normal content, but it is not required by any means. Honestly, like I, I have been using the other weapon, the uh, Dainsleaf, and it's performed just as well as this one at at S level 2. Obviously, that means th that this is going to outperform outperform uh, Dane's Leap when 5 out of 5. But as I mentioned, it's not necessary. Uh, you you'll see, you'll see. So, uh, we have the weapon and let's change it, I guess. Let's change the, the skin. And also, what am I going to use over here? Hmm... I'll go, not with this one, we're going to save it for another time. So let's go with Oni. And we're going to use blue. But we are going to be using... Um, you can go with white. White is an excellent choice if you have enough copies. I don't, as you can see. I'm going to use Arabella over here. And um, do I have... Oh yeah, of course, I, I almost forgot. Uh, I'm going to use this. I just put it on the main. And there, I have 40, 40, and another 60% damage increase with 40% damage reduction. So, amazing, amazing, the damage. So, for this we use Kamitachi, yes. We use Tornado Render, no, we use Storm. And we use Stormfang. So, 
Um, uh, perhaps this isn't the best thing to do because Stormfang is not synergistic with the build, and you're gonna see why. But um, Shiranui, well, not Shiranui, Kurenai, uh, level 87, Awakening skills already max out, all of them, but uh, EXP and and PvP offensive, everything else is going to be maxed. Uh, weapon, 2 out of, of 5 plus 13, 5 out of 5 plus 13, anti-human Magatamas, whatever Magatamas, Storm Storm, Storm, Storm Fang, Kamitachi, um, Haruka, Blackbeard Kirara, Arabella, stats of the customs, stats of the stat training, and let's check the other ones. So we're gonna abuse mind control. It's it's pretty obvious if you, if you know the build. So we're using Momochi, uh, weapon five out of five plus fifteen. Uh, though this enhances the performance a little bit, it's not like super important. And the best option probably is going to be uh, the weapon that I don't have. The the um, one that has anti-boss on its effect. So let's see, anti-human water. Water is going to be super great for um, Momochi. Whatever weapon with whatever Magatemes. 5 out of 5 plus 10, 5 out of 5 plus 15, uh, Mirage Strike, Storm Dance, and Moonshade. Mirage st Strike to use a Witch Su and keep the enemy in place. Uh, Moonshade for the same reason. Storm Dance to heal in case it's needed. And obviously Witch Su. Why not? Uh, Arbella to increase damage and Felicia. In case you do not have Felicia, you can use different things like white white is a great um, option you can also use uh new york kowaru new york your new york kowaru is actually great because we're relying too much on on basics here um let's see <coughs> a little bit of water um, oh my god i don't see that many options oh Maika a little bit. Maika could be used. And that's kind of it. Why not everyone else? Because um, we don't have that many things that enhance human or go against human. So, yeah, that's why. Uh, let's see the stats of the customs, the stats from the stat training, and Oborum. Oborum is going to be using skull face skull face is probably the best weapon that you can equip to a borrow but any other weapon would work just fine in fact you can use the sr that has anti-human trait so keep that in mind uh whatever magatamas no uh anti-human magatamas with air defect mm -hmm. unidentified deviation x five out of five plus eleven this one is two out of no three out of five and let's see, Wick Slasher, Timing in Art, Hypnosis Seal. Um, there's other players, for example, as I mean, who use, who remove Hypnosis Seal, but actually there's no reason to remove it because you cannot use it unless the enemy is doing an attack. So you, you will never uh, activate it by accident and just interrupt your, your skills. And besides, whenever you do, you're going to use mind control. So always do it like this. Uh, and it is important to keep this so that you do not waste time on animations from other skills like Garnet Dash, uh, Blooming Carnage, Flash Step. That's why we keep the uh, time, and art, time and in art on this build. Then Yamato Susune, Francis to get more penetration, and Shiryuki. I mean, you can equip whatever you want. We, we have a ton, and I mean a ton of good op options on red. You can go with Homura, you can go with Arika, you can go with um, Nagi, Stella, Baretta, Yukina, uh, 
Kirara, Holy Knight Kirara, um, Galilim. Mm, no, for just no, not on this one. Uh, Furfur, Amai. So th there's plenty of options here. The stats of the customs. The stats from the stat training. And now, let's see. Basically, Obor is going to just stop the enemy. Uh, Nag is going to keep the enemy stuck in place. And Kurenai is going to deal the damage. I mean, everyone deals a decent amount of damage. Thanks to Obor's penetration. Thanks to Nagi's strong supporters. But this is just... Disgusting. As you can see, I I am already... <laughs> Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. And this is step 100. God, that was fast. Actually, Asagimania, again, he did a run on a step 500 with Kurenai. So, Kurenai is a better damage dealer now. Trust me. It is just amazing. So, yeah. Kurenai is not as bad as she was on BR. And done. This is a weapon 2 out of 5. I mean, yes, I'm using limited supporter and limited equipment, of course. But, nonetheless, you can get similar results with um, F2P supporters and permanent gacha supporters. So, do not despair. In fact, the strongest option is white because she gives up to 60% damage increase and this one is 40 and 40. This one is F2P, this one is F2P and this one it's better to replace it with white but I don't have the right white. So basically you can do it F2P. Now we're gonna do a slight change and we're gonna change the weapon. You can check the, the damage, you can compare it and you'll I'll, I'll let you tell me which deals the most damage? Uh, let's see. This, 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 and this. So the main difference is that this has three extra S levels and two extra uh, enchantment levels. So technically it should deal more damage, but it doesn't have the penetration effect. So let's go with the best skin for Kurenai, or one of the best skins. And mm, 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 mm. Cornet of Supremacy. We're, we're also going to check this weapon since we're here. It's going to be enhanced by a lot now that we have um, now that we have a speed increase. It's just gonna be disgusting. Uh, I, I, I forgot the combo for a moment, but now I remember. I do this, Kamitachi, and I just destroy the enemy. And that was way faster. So, yeah, I still did deal more damage, I guess. Kamitachi. And why is this not the best idea to use a tornado render? No, um, Stormfang, Stormfang. Why is it not the best idea? Because you are putting another debuff onto the enemy, thus interrupting the synergy with Little Witch 2. So, even so, I still have enough control just to uh, destroy the enemy. And it's very rare that she, uh, that she does exactly this. It is extremely rare, trust me. And that's why I have the HP recovery options. Up, up, up. Here we go. And I do this. Oh, oh, oh. Don't do that. No, no, no. Well, that, that, that was bad, but that was... Bad luck, honestly. Like, for the most part, I have had no troubles 
with this specific uh, BR boss after Kurene's renewal. Nice items. Um, should I do it again? No, I, I, I don't want to waste time on another run just to prove that I can uh, do it without them dying. I, I can, but uh, let's focus on another thing that Kurene can do. So we can use Dainsleaf active. Yes, it is a pretty good active. Um, and you can use it on any build. That's the, the great part of this. The limited supporter for this set is going to be blue, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it red? I already forgot. It's red, it's red. Reduces the duration of all debuffs on one cell by 20%, which is a pretty good effect on PvP and some BR bosses. Each critical heal deals additional 40% of damage and stuns the attacks. Those are also pretty good. Apply every 5 seconds. Uh, this one is not as good. Vanishes for 2 seconds when protected character gets attack, evading all attacks and damage. Apply every 10 seconds when the character gets hit and flinches. Only supporter skills work during the effect. So you can only use the active of the supporters. You cannot attack when you're invincible like this. Invisible, invincible, both. And um, the active forms a tornado, deals damage to all enemies and knocks them up in the air. And increases speed by five by 10% for 10 seconds. So it is a pretty decent supporter, but it is not busted. And I do not recommend that you use it that much. I mean, it's better for PvP. So, which color do I want to use? Mm -hmm. Let's see, which is the best one for AoE? My god, it's gonna be blue. I don't wanna use blue. Instead, we're gonna use red. We use this, we use this, and we use this. Mm. While active, 6 seconds. No. Fang is better. So what are we doing here? We're gonna take advantage of this. And we're gonna use... Where are you? Ingrid. But we're not gonna put her on the main. Um, I don't need the extra critical rate on Gale. And I can go with just 2 red. That's excellent. That's amazing. So... Uh, which other red do I want? Probably just Barretta, as simple as Barretta. You can equip whatever you want. But what are we going to put here? I'm going to put Micah. This is just a disgusting combo. Micah is a very niche supporter, but when you hit the niche, it's just amazing. Because she increases particle charge by 100%. Disgustingly good. But uh, <clears throat> Ingrid is better. <laughs> Sorry, but that's the case. Oh, no. Don't go. Uh, anyways. Ingrid is better because it gives you more. It goes up to... I think 250? Something like that. Particle charge increase. But when you hit the, the cap on your particles, you're going to get an attack increase. And it can stack up to uh, 5 times. And that's important because this this is just you're gonna see you can stack this infinitely. It is just great, ah, and you can change the the hair style depending on what you want. So let's see over here. There's just a couple uh, skins that have that hairstyle, like the swimsuit and this one, I think. So I start by doing a couple hits no by using the tornado and then i hit and then i hit and then i hit and then i use the active and i and then i move and then i move and i continue hitting and i continue hitting and there and i use the active wait wait wait, wait. no 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 i use the active twice don't use the active twice guys don't use the active twice that's not right let's see if i manage to keep the buff No, I didn't manage to keep the buff. Be careful with your active. You can activate it twice and that's an issue. So, again. 
Look how I now have two stacks of attack. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? There. Three stacks of attack. I don't care about uh, getting hit. As long as I continue to attack and I continue to gain stacks. Hey, hey, Edwin, there. Nice. Because I want those five stacks to deal the most damage. I get a 50% damage increase just cause. And there we go. And you should spam Tornado Render because you're going to be able to just charge particles faster since you're going to attack faster and get advantage of the basic enhancer. Uh, from the basic enhancer. There. Oof, I think I'm going to lose the stacks. No, I won't. I just hit the, the particle charge. Ah, and you can use the active of... Um, of... Ah, uh, mica. Mica to recharge your particles. That's another thing. <laughs> it's, it's difficult to see what's happening over here. I just do this and then I... Oof, I was a little bit too far away. So, let's see. I do this and now I have HP. Yeah, <laughs> too many particles effects. Sorry guys, probably you're <laughs> confused about what's happening here. But this same build, we can use with something uh, not as chaotic. And that's with my favorite weapon. Um, what's the name? Cornet of Supremacy. Yeah, Cornet of Supremacy. This weapon is, is very fun to use. It's just that. I wouldn't say that it's the best weapon for VR. Actually, I think it's pretty bad compared to other weapons. But using builds with actives is just amazing. And this one increases your particle gain from normal attacks for 8 seconds by a hundred, no, four hundred percent. On top of the already disgusting particle charge that I have, I can get it even more disgusting. Uh, Gail, I think I still need the the. Mm, if I had the extra lot, I would use God's Eye. Just as, as simple as that. But I need the speed increase, uh, the the HP recovery. So, what do we do? We start with Tornado, we use this and we start charging and charging and charging and we use the active and then we use Cornet and then we charge and we use Cornet and we just charge and we use Cornet. Yeah, that's just fun. Spamming the active is <laughs> disgustingly good. Or disgustingly satisfying? I don't know. Maybe both. And we use it. And we use it. And abuse it. Ep -ep -ep, where are you, Edwin? Hey, Edwin, come, come over here. Yeah, like half a million damage with each attack of Cornet. It isn't the best thing in the world, but it is there. And it is extremely fun to use. And it is very spammable, as you can see. That's why I recommend it. That's why I like it. It is just the funniest weapon ever. Not funniest, the, the silliest weapon. Uh, I just need to reposition and do this. And I do it again. And I use the active and I do it again. And I recover and I use the active and too many particles effects.
And destroyed. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. So there we go. Nice, nice, nice. So let's check the, the weapons one more time. What can you equip with Kurnai and what you should build? So if we go to weapons and we just uh, put Kurnai over here. So we have two SRs and what do they do? Increase skill damage by 40% uh, when max out. Not bad, but not good enough. The critical damage increase weapons and the anti-trade weapons give you 80%. That's why you want to use it. Uh, upon defeating an enemy, increases damage dealt by 3%, stack up to 5 times. Uh, that's going to be 15, 30, 30% when max out. Ugh, that's horrible compared to, to the previous weapon. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the Sakura weapon, which you get with mileage. The, is this the Sakura weapon? Or is this the pack weapon? The pack weapon, I, I don't know. Well, anyways. Uh, Coronets of, of Supremacy, as I mentioned. Good, fun to use, but not the most effective thing in the world. Keep that in mind. You, you want to use it for fun, that's it. And besides, as you saw, you need very specific supporters uh, for those builds. Not only uh, those, uh, there's also the, the Hikage, I think it's the name, the girl with the umbrella the, and pink hair. Uh, there's also an R supporter that you can use. Uh, there's also an SR, Momo. So, yeah, it is not impossible to build. But it is better with those uh, that I show. The PvP weapons. Oof, the back weapon, pumpkin sword. This is a mistake, Remory. You should have never done that. So, normal attack have have a 10% chance to restore 2% of loss HP. That's actually pretty good. Um, let's see, very quickly. Very, very quickly. Oof, no. Issues with this one. Stats. The stats are lower. And basically, you don't need that HP recovery. You do have enough HP recovery in your kit in green, in uh, in red, and also with the newest weapon, Grindhouse. Then, active. Sets a pumpkin that explodes after a short delay, dealing damage and stuns all enemy within the area. Like, the weapon is good. The stats are bad. But it is limited to the pack, so... Yeah, that's, that's a bad thing. And not the pack that they're selling right now, but the original pack, which which is not a good deal. Then, the Demonic Edge is a terrible weapon because we don't uh, we don't have a reason to actually use this. We don't have an infinite mode where there's an in unbelievable strong boss that we can one shot with this. So no, and I doubt we would be able to one shot it even with the hundred stacks. Then, the Momochi weapon is good because Kurinai already is a very crit-centric character. It is not as crit-centric as she was before, which is a good thing. But keep in mind that this weapon can be used easily on normal content with Kurinai. And if you had Bright and a Rose, you can use, like we saw, that blue bills are good for BR. So you can use it also on BR. Uh, this one, similar to the snake weapon and coordinates of supremacy this is going to be extremely niche you want it for ulti spam strategies but you need very specific supporters for that so i do not recommend that you try that but if you want some silly stuff and you have the right gear do it um then the the super armor in um Increase damage, increase weapon, and Dainsleaf. Dainsleaf is good. Dainsleaf is good, especially on a red build because you get a little bit of extra value. But by itself, is pretty good because of the active. It's just amazing to deal with waves of enemies uh, because the duration is just long, 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 and you can charge a ton of particles back, back uh, with uh, when using this skill. Let's see. The snake weapon, it's uh, the weaker version of the summer weapon. 
and I mentioned what you can do with the summer weapon. Pure heart, very, very niche, can be used, but it is even more niche than Cornet or Supremacy, so keep that in mind, because this is going to enhance the performance of the whole team. And why would you use Grenade as a supportive unit instead of a damage dealer? Because she's going to be kind of... Uh, I don't want to say strong, but it's not weak either. It's on, on the middle point. So it's a competent damage dealer with this weapon that provides uh, support to the party. Then, ooh, Grindhouse. Grindhouse is, is actually pretty good. So... Critical damage increased by 22% and up to 44% when you have uh, 5 copies. We can only get 4 copies even if you buy the pack. So you'll need to use a uh, um, Demonite. But wait after this month. Maybe you buy something that might help you with that. Uh, let's see. Then, the active reduces the speed of nearby enemies by 99% for 2 seconds when attacked while assuming a counter stance. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is... Uh, I thought this was going to be a passive on the active, but no, you literally use a special counter. And I got to check if you can activate that counter now with the change that they apply. I, I, I don't know if that's going to be the case. Uh, and then deals damage equal to 860% uh, of attack and heals 6% of lost HP. So that, no, not 60, 6% 6 of lost HP. That's good, because it gives you survivability. And it only costs 3 particles. It's pretty affordable and pretty spammable. So this is super, super great. Not only for the specific uh, seasonal set that it comes with. Just using this is amazing. As simple as that. And Twin Sword IR and UV. Normal attacks have a 25% chance to increase the speed by 6% up to 12% for 8 seconds and inflict Wind's card on enemies. The tornado attack generated by Wind's card is applied with 100% penetration and the damage dealt is increased by uh, 120%. That's going to be 240%. Yeah. As I mentioned, this seems to be just the most disgustingly uh, broken weapon for damage for damage. Uh, the other weapons, as I mentioned, are also pretty good. HP recovery, uh, supportive capabilities, uh, crowd control uh, management. So, yeah, most of Kurenai's weapons are just amazing. So, should you get Kurenai after the renewal? Mm, I mean, she's usable, yeah, but I wouldn't say that she's a musket. She is definitely a better damage dealer now, just by doing small changes. Particularly that uh, leader skill is going to help out. And if you think that you have to roll the weapon, I, I don't recommend that you force yourself to get the character and roll the weapon. Instead, just chill, get a couple copies every now and then as, as drops from different banners. And then you build her. Um, as for supportive capabilities, Stormfang is just disgustingly good. Amazing, I tell you. But most of her other skills focus on damage dealing or buffing current eye or uh, giving HP recovery. So I wouldn't say that she's the best uh, supporter out there. You can actually use her along with... Um, New Year Hebiko to enable someone else with uh, pa -pa -pam, where is it? With Minasaki, just so that you know. Minasaki is basically a Yukina when you have the enemy poison, and if you have a New Year Hebiko, the enemy is always going to be po poison, as simple as that. And you don't even need to use Tornado, no, Stormfang with uh, with Kurene to use this combo now, because innately, Kurenai is going to be able to debuff the enemy. So you you can inflict that um, that poison onto the enemy, just cause. So yeah, don't feel pressure to get this character. 
it is strong. It has always been strong, but it wasn't strong on BR. Now it's a great damage dealing option on BR. Um, would I put it on pair with Astaroth? Maybe, but I, I need further testing to actually uh, make that statement. Uh, for now, I, I can tell you that it's just a really good damage dealer. But you have to manually farm. It's not like Astro that you just push a, a, a couple bottles and just evade and that's it. So anyways, that's about it, guys. I hope you find this useful. If you have anything else that you want to comment about uh, how she changed, let me know in the comments. I'll see you there and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.